As efforts continue to let voters decide if recreational marijuana should be legal in Michigan, we're bringing you the message from both advocates and critics of the drug's use. 24 Hour News 8's Joe LaFergie at the live desk tonight with this story, all new at 6. Joe? Yeah, Brian, supporters are trying to get that question on the fall ballot here in Michigan. If you're undecided on whether marijuana is a good or a bad drug, there is plenty of debate out there. This is going to be highly regulated like every other substance in the state of Michigan. Yesterday, supporters of medical marijuana rallied at the Calder Plaza promoting a local ballot issue that would allow medical marijuana dispensaries in the city. Every single person that I've ever met who's done crack cocaine or heroin or meth, every single person started out smoking marijuana. Today in Muskegon, the debate was on the consequences of its use by young people. Shattering marijuana's myths was less reefer madness. The 1930s era film that warned toking up could drive you mad. More on what the group considers more realistic consequences. The impact it could have on young people and their decision making process as it relates to whether it be college, uh, athlete, athletics, or even entering the workforce. Part of an ongoing series that began last fall, the program's aimed at Muskegon County High School students. Ultimately, we as individuals, uh, we have to, we're going to make choices. Uh, and as long as people are making informed choices, then the choice is theirs to make. If recreational marijuana use does get on the ballot and does become law, these kids will still be too young to use it. But their parents and other influential adults will. Hilson says that makes discussions like this even more important. I think kids need to understand the difference between mom and dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, and them as it relates to you know some of the development uh, stages as far as their brain development and their maturity level. And as for the statewide recreational marijuana initiative, petition signatures were submitted in November. They're awaiting approval by the state board of canvassers. At the live desk, Joe Lafergie, 24 Hour News 8.